Don't worry, folks. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't look like the type of person who will keep you from your lunch too much longer. I respect lunch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Clap for lunch. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you. Uh, as Sue mentioned, my name is Joe Borelli, and I represent the southernmost district of the state in Staten Island. And where is Staten Island? Well, there's two. <laughs> Folks, I am an adoptee, and I'm only here right now because my mother, my biological mother, made the appropriate choice of choosing life. I'm here because she made the ethical and moral choice. I'm here because she walked in the door of a Christian organization and not Planned Parenthood. That's why I'm here. But maybe... Maybe most importantly, I'm here because people like you were also here 32 years ago fighting to ensure that the people of New York State still had the right to make ethical and moral choices. So give yourselves a round of applause for being here. And thank you. Thank you for coming. Because every once in a while, the people over there in that building next to us need to be reminded that we are, in fact, one nation under God. This is a notion that gets lost. Day after day, we're bombarded by people who think we're wrong simply because we acknowledge God as an influence, if not the numero uno influence, of our lives. They think that because this is a state, where a lot of liberals live, they think that people who are conservative may not even belong. And that's why it's so important that we're here as one, showing our unity, our resolve, and our strength. Beyond your trip to Albany, I'm going to ask you a favor, though. All right, today you're going to come, you're going to meet with some legislators, you're going to talk to them about issues. But when you go home, I know many of you pray for your government leaders, and I want you to continue to do that. Pray that the Lord grants our elected officials, including myself, some wisdom and logic to make the right choices. But pray, really, that morality is once again restored to the rightful place as the compass of good government. And pray for one more thing. Pray that our elected leaders acknowledge the fact that their time leading this state is merely temporary, that they're just temporary shepherds of a seat that the people have put them in, and that there is somebody who is important. I'm sorry, there is somebody who is permanent that they themselves can turn to and seek guidance and seek counsel for. Pray for those elected officials to accept that. And now, I'll allow you guys to have lunch. God bless you all. Enjoy the rest of your day. And please, please continue to do the work you're doing.